I have to say, on a week like this where we're talking about just, uh, like, absolutely appalling conditions in Gaza, we're looking at the funeral of Alexei Navalny, we're looking at, you know, the seeming evaporation of holding Trump uh, criminally accountable for his actions, you know, in addition to the rest of the landscape. You forgot about climate change. Well, I mean, that's just an ongoing trauma that we're <laughs> living through, right? Do you, does this moment... Do you, do you have a, 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 a sort of core of optimism in a moment like this? Or how do you look at the broader sort of American and global landscape? Look, I have had the privilege, as you mentioned, of running for president, which means that I've been to every state in this country. I've talked to many, many thousands of people, young people, old people, working class people. And what I want to tell you is the people are far, far, far more decent than the government they have that's representing them. Almost everybody out there says, you know what? Healthcare should be a human right. Mm -hmm. Everybody out there says, hey, we got to ask the billionaires to start paying their fair share of taxes. People all over the world are not stupid. They see climate change taking place in front of their eyes. We have got to deal with it. We need to improve education. We need to change our national priorities, not spend $900 billion on the military, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So where I am optimistic, having talked to zillions of people, is people want to make this country a lot more humane society, uh, and move away from the kind of oligarchic society that we have today.